I'm going to speed run a TLDR for those who aren't caught up on the situation, but you can also watch my video on the situation which I'll include in the description and at the end of the video. League of Legends creator Nightblue3, commonly known for his educational content and stream following, encountered a player named Florence in solo queue while live. This game didn't go smoothly, and the two ended a mild altercation where it was accused of Nightblue that he had called her a whore in-game. Many in the League community jumped to Florence's side prematurely, notably LS, who took to Twitter and quote-unquote virtually suplexed Nightblue 3, calling him a clown and ill. Then, Nightblue released a video that covered all the bases and gave a decent amount of evidence disproving Florence and by extension LS's claims. Many went back to Nightblue's side. Now, LS has responded on stream to the situation. This is what he has to say, and I'll be giving my opinion on what he covers, as so many people asked for in my last video. Just before we begin, I encourage going to watch Nightblue's full video and also the VOD of LS for full context before forming an opinion. They're both linked in the description below. I also really want to highlight the amount of hate that has come to this situation. Uh, shown in these screenshots, LS got shredded after Nightblue posted his video, and I'm sure the same happened to Nightblue before he posted it. Please, before you go to share your opinion online or direct a message towards someone, just think twice about it. It's not hard to be a decent person and recognize what is right and what is wrong. Typically, Typically, situations like this do not, do not call for death threats, violence, prompts of suicide, anything of that nature. And based on League's average player base of around 21 to 24 years of age, you're most likely an adult. Just be conscious of the effects that your words have. So to start off, LS begins his video with a defensive tonality. Evidently, he isn't here to apologize and claims people don't know what actually happened. Um, so the only reason that I'm responding is because, obviously, if you guys have seen Twitter, um, I'm getting a lot of DMs and I'm getting a lot of messages, right? And normally I think that would be fine. What I think is not fine is that it's also very evident by reading a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't actually seem to, to know entirely what happened. There's also some stuff missing, some of which I have, some of which I don't have, but I have things that allude to it. And I just want to talk about how it's really weird that no one seems to actually care about what happened. Throughout his response, he kind of just nitpicks at random things that don't really serve any significance, like this clip where he pulls up a random cut that means nothing. Wrongdoings I've done in the past, but it really hurts me today. To be so quickly judged and attacked. He literally cuts mid-sentence that it really hurts him today. Uh, I don't know, I just felt and be called mentally ill. This is kind of a common trend throughout the VOD, just pulling at random things for no reason. Another example of this is where he says it was weird Nightblue started interacting with her straight away. I mean, Florence despite not knowing who she is. While Florence didn't at Nightblue specifically, I'm pretty sure someone mentioned him straight away under the tweet just after she posted it. I also don't think it's super weird of Nightblue to just happen to check his Twitter notifications to see what he was tweeted at. One of the things that's really weird that immediately comes to my mind is that if she's a total nobody or she's a total random or if he doesn't actually know who she was or her chat doesn't know how she or who she was, how is it that he's able to go to her Twitter immediately after the game, locate her Twitter, and then respond to it if his chat is not also bringing all of this stuff up. So that's where I think the VOD actually does come into play because what is his chat actually saying about what is going on? And then what is also said after the game and what is said before the game because Florence shows a screenshot of Night Blue actually looking at her profile. And I, I think this is where the chat actually does come in and why the follow-up of it matters, like the recorded uh, Twitch chat on the VOD. But... I mean, that, that's something that we can also talk about later at later stages of this video. LS then says, while Nightblue is correct saying his VODs have fair merit to be missing, some clips were nuked, but not all of them. If Nightblue really deleted the clips, why didn't he just delete all of them to leave no evidence? Why is there only some? I don't know if they were nuked or not, but nothing really happened in the game that was clip worthy. Like there's no clips because there's no clips. No one clipped anything because nothing happened. There are any clips of him yelling or swearing. At best, there was like some mild flame and some pings. He wasn't like overreacting on camera or anything like that. No type racing, especially. Then he pulls up a notepad and transcribes like 20 seconds of what he says, which kind of eventuates in nothing. I don't really know why he did this. Um, I think it was just to recount. But I feel like it just would be low class. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's, let's, let's type out some what he's saying, right? Let's, um, I don't even know where this notepad just went, actually. I have to turn on my, my other monitor. Let's transcribe what, what is actually being said right now, okay? Low class, you know what I'm saying? I want you to hear what I said verbally in response to this. I have so many different words I could call this Sona, but I feel like it just would be low class, you know what I'm saying? Is there any point in typing to this Sona? I could say so many things, dude, so many. At this point, I point out I could say things to Sona, but I don't want to respond. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying not to be toxic, even though I've been getting flamed the entire game. 
Okay, so it's 16 minutes, 1611, 1629, 1733, 1736, uh, 1738, 1746, 1803, 1817. Nothing is being said since the, the, the very start of him saying these things that we, we just wrote out on the notepad. Now, I had an open mind while watching this, and some things LS said started to make sense, but this gotcha moment actually did the opposite for me, where he basically says Night Blue types whore following nothing significant happening in the game, and recounts him saying he could call Sona any number of things. One thing Night Blue covered in his original video is that he found out about the self-mute whore function days earlier. As Night Blue says in his video, he is aware that typing whore will not show up on the chat, just self-mute himself. So if he's so aware of that and wanted to flame the Sona, why would he type a word that he knows won't appear in the chat? LS doesn't actually cover this or even touch on this, which in my opinion kind of makes LS's whole argument fall apart. It just doesn't make sense. He then goes on about Night Blue's body language, which again kind of proves nothing. He's just smiling and looking at his chat. Someone probably said something funny. So again, to reiterate, this all takes place in about a 45 second window and everything that we just transcribed out that he just mentioned uh, prior to this moment. Okay, so I, I think all of this context has to actually come together. Now Florence tried to get this clip, but again, when she went to try to get the clip, Obviously, clips are not, uh, clips are all deleted. Um, the clips are all deleted. Now, some clips do exist from the stream that I, I do have one that I will play later on because it, it plays into later in the video. Um, but Florence was not able to get this. So obviously, yes, he does include this in this uh, part of his video. And this is a part that I talked about with several different creators inside of the scene, all, all from everywhere, right? Uh, streamers, YouTubers, etc. cetera. Um, and this is also a clip that I specifically talked about with Riot. Um, so, yeah. I left this part oh, in to show you the conversation with Sona did You thought you were here. getting the tower. I just talking about Harold and the did tower. You know, I'm here to smite. And here it- So this is where he types whore. Now you notice the in-game timer says 1918. So again, nothing is being said in chat, nothing is being pinged, nothing is nothing is going on. Now this comes immediately following the rant where he says that there's so many things that he would want to say to this Sona. Now he's already displayed that he's willing to target mute, target mute ping, etc. certain people inside of the game. Now the main thing here is, as a streamer and as a content creator, okay, there is a massive insinuation, I think, with what is going on here. And this is the thing that I talked about with many, many other streamers over the last, like, day, um, just to talk about this exact topic. Night Blue has been a streamer for, I think, over a decade now at this point. So I think that he would have to really feign ignorance to what is actually happening here. When he goes to type the word whore, as, as you guys can see, it's starting to type it, you notice that his eyes are on his Twitch chat. The entire time, as he hits enter and as whore is about to be said, 20-minute surrender vote's about to come up, literally nothing is being said in the chat. There's no spam pings, there's no text messages, nothing is happening, you have Nexus turrets exposed, your Voli Bear's down like four levels, you're not clearly going to play the game. He talked about already inside of the game how he's being held hostage, right? Someone, someone hostage voted uh, the 15-minute surrender, etc. 1920, this is when I type whore in the chat, and this is where all the confusion started. No one's typed anything for two. He types horror. He keeps smiling, keeps looking at his Twitch chat. He was looking at his Twitch chat as he types the horror. He's not even looking at the actual game. And then this causes the global notification to go off. Now, he's going to show later in the video where he first learns about the word horror. Other League of Legends personalities and streamers uh, are aware that there are certain words that can actually get you self-banned. Um, and I think that some of them have very different degrees there are some streamers that use the word midget um, in order to do the self-mute, and the argument uh, with self-muting is that it gives the global notification off, right? Whereas if you just tell everyone that they're muted, um, it might not have the same effect. That that's some of the 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 arguments that I you know I've heard from other streamers or like League of Legends um, personalities on on why they would not just do the the slash mute all. I think this part is indefensible, pretty much, right? That. Not only does he use the word inside of this game, but then goes on to defend the usage of it inside of other games. He then says how Nightblue not knowing her gender doesn't matter. I don't think I've ever heard a male be called a whore in my entire life. A whore is literally defined as a prostitute, which is statistically, according to prostitution.org, yes, I looked this up, 80% women. I don't even know what he's trying to say in this spiel after here either. A lot of the spiels LS goes on are kind of confusing. And now people are assuming that I know this player's gender, I know this player personally, and I'm calling them. It doesn't matter if 
he knows the player's gender. It's literally the same exact thing with the Dom situation, which is actually what I talked about with Dom way back in the day. It, it the the word itself is already really like yes, the word the word itself is already bad. It doesn't the 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 assuming of her gender and the other stuff that comes in later on is tied into a different matter in itself. But I think that it's really weird how the basis of this doesn't matter in general. So up until here, LS says, I don't actually say mentally ill in this tweet, but he definitely implies it. When someone doesn't grasp something that you say, you don't say back to them, oh, you can't comprehend this situation. You must have a stomach ache. In this situation, ill would be used for mental illness or deficiency. Like you're so ill, you don't get what I'm saying. Like he says, I'm mentally ill in this tweet. Tweet doesn't say mentally ill. In fact, illness is like a spectrum. Actually, I could probably open my Discord where I've had conversations about this, that the phrasing is different. LS then pulls up a recovered clip of Nightblue kind of mocking LS, but it's very mild. So what Nightblue might not know is that some of the clips have been recovered. Me too, baby! <laughs> oh, is it at least back? Yeah, tell him, Kaisa, tell him. Wait, Kaisa, be careful! LS will call you mentally ill on Twitter now. Shit! <laughs> Dude, honestly, it's too- it's actually funny. I can't stop laughing about it, actually. Me too, baby! So, all that I'm pointing out is with this clip is his response that- his, his response that He's just trying to play it off and, and say that is not actually congruent with the behavior that he's displaying on stream. The rest of the video is just kind of whatever. Nothing's really said. The main two points is that LS says he'll talk to Nightblue 3 in private, which is good, but no apology is made, which I feel like would have been the much more mature route to take. Even if he wasn't apologizing for the incident, at least apologize for the damage you caused him because that's what you're getting right now. It's just come back in a reciprocative matter. I am kind of impartial to the situation. I don't personally know either Nightblue or LS. I just feel like Nightblue brings a much more compelling case, especially after being wrongfully targeted. Anyway, you're up to date. Uh, the whole video is LS doesn't really say too much, doesn't apologize, but just says Nightblue and him will talk in private and says the situation could have been handled better. Um, a lot of his arguments I didn't really agree with or align with, but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more League news. Bye.